Greetings YouTube. So uh, today I got a big FedEx box finally and it's my Motorola X Pure Edition. Ordered this on September 2nd and today is August 8th so took a quite a while to get here. A big delay. But anyway I was going to return this phone because I have I ordered the Nexus 6P which I'm really excited about but I'm a phone guy, so it's really hard for me to, I, I know, I really want to look at it and try it out, and I'm not sure if I want to return it now. I also ordered the new Moto 360, which I will unbox also, but you've probably by now seen a lot of unboxings of this phone. A lot of people got their phones already, and like I said, mine was delayed, but it's a nice box, big, you know, a big box with the bigger than, uh, you know what it was last year or previous models of the Motorola 360 so without further ado take a box knife and get the plastic off of it I'm eager to see how this looks and I pretty much got the same design that I had last year pretty much maybe a little different Nice packaging though. I always like nice packaging. So it comes off like a book. And there it is, the Moto 360. And this is the Royal Blue with silver accents and a white face. So, and it has like a kind of a rubberized back material. And I guess I should stop, stop messing around and take it out. But it feels really nice. And this is my first time actually holding a model the new model 360 for 2015 I haven't really checked that anything out in the store but right off the bat I, I like the feel of it so let me sit it aside for a second and of course we have our usual books that no one reads of course in here we have the sim tool right here sim ejection tool Motorola style like so and what's over here oh we get a case I've seen this in other unboxes and I was hoping that they included this I actually like bumper cases they're minimal and they will provide some protection you know because usually when you drop your phone you drop it on the edge so I'll definitely be using this so that's nice. That's nice of them to include that. And this is the new turbo charger, which is basically all one piece. So tear that a loose. Basically, it's all one piece. It's not a separate USB cable, which I would have preferred, but it's not, you know, not a deal breaker. But this is supposed to be an even better, even faster charger. So Let's peel the plastic off of the phone. Some people really like this. That's not a big deal to me. <laughs> okay. And there it is. And it's not a big phone. Like I've seen in other reviews, it's it's a it's a kind of thick, but it's not big. And this is a 5.7 inch screen. And you can kind of see it. Let me take out my my uh my Note 5 and compare it size wise take the case off of it uh, my FedEx delivery manager telling me I got my, got my package but this is the Note 5 and you can see yeah the screen is equal 5.7 inch and it's really close to the same size maybe it may be a little bit well actually it's not that much narrow it's just shaped differently kind of a more round shape but I didn't know I thought it was a little smaller than this but this doesn't it don't bother me easy to hold I don't I don't, I don't mind big phones so it really feels good though this is the metal silver accents you know and you have the 21 megapixel camera on the back and a Motorola dimple what really would have been awesome if this was a fingerprint scanner that would have been so awesome that would I don't even know if I would have got the Nexus 6P if this had a fingerprint scanner back here but 
that's another story but I like this soft touch material nice metal this is a metal strip is a little different too and you have your dual flash sim card tray up here your uh, headphone jack of course in the bottom you have your USB regular USB I don't know why they didn't do USB-C that's I don't know that's this or the note never didn't come out with USB-C so that's kind of weird to me but anyway maybe next year so you have your uh, volume rocker and power on, on this side with the little ridges on it and like I said this is kind of like a smaller version of the Nexus 6 but I actually like this better because you can hold it and it's, still, and it's not so wide I guess I can power it on just to give you guys a look powered by Android and this has an LCD screen now, not the, the old AMOLED that they used to use. Same nice, neat Motorola animation coming up. And this is a really nice phone. I, I mean, I figured I was going to like it anyway. So, And I think I, I tried to cancel it. I think that's what they were banking on me not canceling it so you know and i'm a phone guy so it's hard to cancel but i don't know i have to see i'm gonna try it out and see how the battery is the camera i've heard the battery wasn't so great but everybody's use is different so i might like it actually i just wish it had a fingerprint scanner that's just i really like having a fingerprint scanner the camera is supposed to be a lot better too plus it's stock android so this is the typical you know this is the google when you all Google phones now, well, most of them, especially the stock ones, have this animation where it's not this present, this screen. You choose your, you know, what country, what country you're from, and then you continue to set it up. So what I'll do, I'll um, let me see. I'll probably just set this up, put my SIM card in, because I got a lot of apps to download. And like I said, you've probably seen a lot of this before, because I'm, I'm getting the phone kind of late. But right now, I mean, I know I like it. Well, I knew I was going to like it. So, I mean, that's not a surprise. Not a surprise at all, really. But anyway, let me put all this stuff kind of back in place. So, so you can look at the watch. And I know I'm keeping the watch. So, that's not even an issue, you know, an argument. But this is the Motorola, the new Motorola 360, which... I really like the original 360. Never did a review on it. Sorry, but uh, and I have the Gear Live, which I don't have on right now. But the Gear, well, the Gear S2, not the Gear Live. Oh, I have the Gear Live, but I, you know, I did an unboxing of the Gear S2. So I don't know how this comes apart, and I haven't really watched a lot of these videos for the Moto 360. Okay, it has some tape here, I believe. I'm gonna have to cut of course so doing all this just no editing just right in front of the camera so oh I know what it does it comes this lifts up like a lifts up just like a top and it has a hinge on the back of it I just had to get this tape off of here I'm trying not to scratch the box I like to keep my boxes neat because when I resell my devices so that comes all the way around the device lifts up I believe it lifts up yes that's how it does you get that in the camera so you can see so that's really nice hmm, not really a hinge but it just lifts off and right off I really really like this now I, I, I customized this also in Moto Maker and this is the I got the the black chain link you know the metal link band with a silver body and a black chamfered edge so that just comes apart like so really fancy packaging so so look at the watch it's, it's actually really nice and this is a 46 millimeter it looks kind of I don't know I'm, gonna have to, I'm probably gonna have to add links to this band which I usually have to. It's usually too small. Let me see. Try it on here. 
Yeah, that is kind of, well, that's, I can fit it, but I like, kind of like my watch is a little loose. Actually, it's not that bad. But, I like, I like the Moto 360. I really like the last one, and this one's supposed to be really good. And, looks like it's got a screen, look like a, a screen protector on it here, too. So, I guess let me zoom in so you can see a little better, I guess. So, try to keep it. Yeah, that's just a little screen protector, but it still has a spare tire, people call it on the bottom, which never bothered me. So, this is really nice. Silver body, little protection on the back also. needs to be peeled off probably should have did that first but anyway get fingerprints on the screen anyway I might do that later it's kind of hard to do this behind the camera okay I got it it's basically here your heart rate sensor and all that back there but yeah it's definitely an improvement and the bands will probably be easier to change too and so and I they pray I'm, I'm hoping they have some links in here extra links let me see here's a charger which is pretty much the, looks like the same type of charger in fact i'll put this on my old my moto 360 charger and see if it still works and you have your right here your metal i mean uh, your, your continuous uh usb cable you know it's no separate cable and a plug it's all one just like the phone and that, the last year's model, I believe, had that, too. I don't see any extra links in here. This may, oh, no, hold up. Here they are. Some extra links right here, which I may need that. I don't know. I don't, it didn't feel that tight. Um, it didn't feel that tight as, it, you know, as last year. So, and... So I might just leave it the way it is, but so far I like it. And I was gonna get the Huawei watch, and I still might. I don't know, cause I didn't think they were gonna send me this, so they sent it anyway. So anyway, I really like it. I uh, like the phone. I'm gonna try it out. Thank you for watching my video. I hope it was informational for you. Like I said, I know you've probably seen all this before. It took a while for me to get all my stuff, but so far I like it. Look forward to a Model Three. 60 review definitely Moto X I'm not sure I'm I think I'll probably keep it but I'll you know we'll see I, I do like it so far I know I really like it anyway thank you for watching my video have a nice day